What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how to fix zero byte downloads on Steam or downloads that just won't start. For example, if I head to Steam and start this download here, you may see that it shows zero out of zero bytes and that's where it stays no matter how much I try to restart it. Or if I head to the game in the list and click update, nothing happens no matter how hard you try. Here's how to fix it. First of all, the obvious solutions. Click Steam in the top left and choose exit. When it's done closing, open up Steam once more. Should restarting Steam not fix it, try and reboot your PC completely and that may be the solution. Now that we've got the obvious solutions out of the way, let's make sure that we don't have a proxy enabled in Windows. This option can turn on and if you're not actually using a proxy, it could just stop certain programs working properly. Hit start and open up settings. Inside of here, head to network and internet, then look for proxy and click it. Now, all we need to do is turn off automatically detect settings and that's it. Just make sure you don't have a proxy server set up and enabled. If the solution isn't fixed, turn this back on and we'll close settings. Now, next up, check to see that your disk isn't in use. While you're downloading updates, they may be taking longer than usual. For example, I'll start a download here and head to my downloads where you'll see in the top right, network and disk usage. These two will appear here and move on their own differently to each other. You may notice that your network is not downloading anything, leaving this bar at zero, but your disk is fully maxed out by Steam or another program. You can also check this in your task manager by heading to the performance tab or graphs tab and selecting your drive or SSD here. If you see that your write speed is maxed out and the response time is high, other programs could be using it, especially if it's a hard drive preventing it from being used by Steam fully. Close any other programs that may be using your drive and try the download once more. Should you be using a hard drive and it consistently has high average response times, well, while nothing is being written to it, that may be a sign of failure and it's a good idea to back up your data. Now, we can go ahead and try to clear caches, including our DNS cache and our Steam download caches, the second of which will reset any download progress you have but at least it's likely to solve this issue. First of all, Windows DNS cache. Hold start and press arm. Inside of here, type CMD and then hit enter. Then we'll be typing in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS and we'll hit enter. Note the spacing. Now we'll hit start R once more and this time we'll type in steam colon forward slash forward slash flush config one word. We'll then hit OK and you should see a pop up like this. We'll click OK. Though do note that when you do, it'll clear your local download cache and you'll need to log into Steam again. So click OK when you're happy. When you log back into Steam, the download should then be able to run properly and you'll be able to play your games soon. So thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.